Okay, now it's time to create and manage partner development orgs. So on the previous video, I have shown you how you can create your development management org to create and manage um, developer orgs for your developers. Now, to do this, please refer to the previous video. So the first step, you would need to get a business org uh, from the partner, partner uh, website on Salesforce. And then you create your development management org from your business org. And then you have to submit a support case to Salesforce support and ask them to enable environment hub on this development management org. So that's a quick recap. Please refer to the full video that uh, we just go through just right before this one. So first step, fill the power, create your first org. So to, to do this, you actually go to your environment hub from your development management org, all right? So I am already logged in to my development management org. As you can see, I've um, separate the icons to have a gear icon. So I know this is my development management org. So this is the org that we created on the previous video. It's ready to go, right? To create one. You hit the create org button here and then you define what this is for is it for development right or is it for a test or a demo depending on the purpose the edition which you can create it's different for test or demo you can have a lot of options but for development you can just have a partner developer org edition then fill this up i've shown you on the previous video and then it will create this new fresh org, right? So we've gone through that part. So we have created the org already. And then um, a side note, you see this drop down. If you choose test demo, as you can see on mine, if, if, if I want to create, not connect, and I change this to test demo, the option you have partner group, partner professional, partner enterprise, right? So to enable that, you have to ask Salesforce support. So first ask Salesforce to support to enable the environment hub and make sure this is available after they enable it. All right. So then you can test your packages on um, specific um license or specific salesforce editions all right so after you've create one we can set up single signed on let's do this together with our newly created zone dev one so i'm going to click on here zone dev one so we are going to enable sso single sign on i'm going to hit enable and enable sso okay so now the single sign on has been enabled. We want now to single sign on user mappings. Let's map one new SSO user mapping. So username on member org that could be zone dev one at zone.io. We define this when we were creating the org, remember? So environment hub user first and last name i think it's jimmy tanzel there it is so i'm going to save that that's it now we have created the user mapping if i go back to my environment hub we should have a login button here and i hit login and it's going to automatically log me in. So this is on our um, new org that we have created. So on dev one, right? So now you can develop your, your package or your app and then deploy it to, to the packaging org 
we can create another org and and set that new org as a packaging org all right so let's move on so we have enable single sign on and then we can do it again so so this would be to load the package containing your app in the next unit so we can um, use for a test or a demo and then choose um, choose the license and stuff let's do that i'm thinking about what I, uh, I should name it so let's just create one more okay i'm gonna go close this this is um, this one let's create another one and this is for testing purposes test slash demo like for testing a new app or if you want to demo it to a customer right so addition i am going to choose um, partner enterprise i'm just going to choose enterprise i'm gonna name this test and enterprise all right soon test enterprise same thing jimmy tanzio soon test enterprise at soon dot io and then this will send an activation email so to your email address here okay not to the username so i'm going to create this so it's going to take a few minutes and i'm going to show you how we can activate this together okay so after a few minutes we get the verification email for our new org so i want to activate this and set up my password click on there there it is so okay at least we are done so we have connected and i'm just gonna go home here and now we are connected the zone test enterprise and let's set up the single sign on again so i'm gonna refresh this and you can create lists here okay you can just like any other list in salesforce you can create a new list and then filter what orgs you want to you want to um, set up so this is a trial because it's an enterprise edition so i'm going to set up sso here if i click on test enterprise and then enable sso enable sso again okay we're good to go i'm going to set up new sso user mapping over here this is the user and it's jimmy again choose jimmy and save and we're good to go so i'm going to close this and close the email now if i if i change this to all orgs i will see all orgs and if i want to go to the test enterprise and login right you can log in from here without having to enter the login credential that's it that's what i want and then you can create a list i want to show you if i want to make a new list let me say enterprise orgs for example right and then all users can see if you want to share it right i'm going to save this list and then you can add a filter and i'm going to change the type or the addition is enterprise enterprise and then done and then save so now it's just gonna uh, list my newly created enterprise edition if i want to see all orgs i change it to that right so that's it so that's how to keep organized custom list view you can also connect to other orgs to the hub connect other orgs to the hub so for example you have existing um, orgs that you already manage and you want to connect that to your environment hub you can do so like like here and then um, well it, yeah 
I'm not gonna do that because I'm not gonna add my real org onto there. Anyways, you can do that. So also you can move orgs from one hub to another hub. So that's pretty much it. Let's do the couple of quiz here. What can you do using the environment hub app? Provision orgs for customers? No. Create development orgs? Yes. Upgrade? No. Move packages? No. Connect to customer orgs? No. Which step is required to set up a single sign-on from the environment hub to a member org? Yeah, you have to map a member org user. Um, and that's pretty much it. So let's get this and I'll see you on the next video. Bada bing, bada boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom